I'm hoping that I can even pull through and make this happen. <laughs> I'm excited for tonight. Look at the bun. Look at it. <laughs> I can't believe we're getting a pizza for 10 o'clock at night. bundled up like an idiot. Good morning, guys. <laughs> it's um, kind of uh, blustery out, and I have the car, I'm cranking the heat, I'm sorry if it's loud, but I'm actually headed to Walmart this morning to get some cookie supplies because I have five orders, which is insane. That's 300 cookies that I have to make, so I'm hoping that I can even pull through and make this happen. <laughs> I'm sure I can. It's just, that is a lot of cookies. So anyway, I have some things to pick up. I'm gonna run to Walmart and the dollar store and start baking. <laughs> forward a little bit and there was a curb so just pulled my mom right there she's done that before that's so embarrassing all right Lou's off to her test we had to do a little a little switcheroo here she's a little late we were having trouble finding exactly where to go for her test I'm sure she's mentioned to you that she's taking her safety food handling test. So she's going to get that done now, and I have to find a place to park until she's done. I think I'm just gonna chill in the car because it's been a busy morning. Oh, I couldn't find a place to park in this place. So I found the closest coffee shop. I'm just gonna listen to a podcast and chill while I wait for Lou. But I just wanted to say a couple things. One, I'm really excited for this evening. You'll see why. And two, I'm proud of Lou for working so hard on getting this um, safety food handlers thing done and doing, she's had to do a whole bunch of like tests and and just go through binders and books of, of stuff for this new job that she's hopefully starting in the new year, if not before. And she's been baking and selling cookies and I'm just, I'm proud of her for for doing all the work because I know she's kind of had bad luck with just, well, douchey employers, <laughs> like just dinks running businesses and it sucks because I, I know that she's very self-conscious about the fact that she's worked a few different jobs and she's, uh, she's really hard on herself and I don't think she she should be because she's really she's really taken up the slack this year and last and kind of you know been the the breadwinner I guess so yeah I'm proud of you Lou and I'm grateful for you and all you do that's that's all I wanted to say so how'd it go I'm a certified safe food handler now Congratulations. Thank you. You can now safely handle food. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised I've worked this long in a kitchen and, and haven't had it, actually. Okay. I get my certificate in the mail in two weeks. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, dear. Thank you, Good honey. job. You've worked Thanks, hard. Babe. Yeah. Um, now we just wait, have to wait around for like an hour, and then I'm getting a haircut, and then we have to wait another two hours, and then I'm jamming. Could you jam like an hour earlier or no? I don't think so, buddy. Okay. Rafi's getting his hair done. Okay. This might be really awkward filming. Now he can stop wearing that stupid hat that he wears all the time. He looks like a bum. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just chilling in the car. Waiting till he finishes. And freaking A. Is that better? And so while I was getting my certification for the safe food handlers I got a call from a health food store actually that has um, a cafe attached to it got a call from them for an interview so I called her back just now so I have an interview tomorrow cool right so anyway 
I have an interview there tomorrow, so I think that would be pretty cool. They have Ralph's hair in a bun right now. It actually looks surprisingly good. Uh, he covered it. I miss his man bun. Look at the bun. Look at it. <laughs> Finished up jamming guys. Whoa, watch it buddy. Oh, over here, over here, over here. So, um, I don't know what time it is, like... Lou had a craving for, oh this is pizza. Holy crap, this is only six dollars. Lou had a craving for flatbread. So, we're trying to get some dirty flatbread. I can't believe we're getting a pizza for 10 o'clock at night. Did I share my hair? I didn't say share, but I like that better. Oh. Um, well, I put a hat on, so it's kind of flattened now. I like it. I like what he did. He also trimmed my beard. Thank you, Alex. 10.30. Pizza time. It's been ages since we've done this. It's true. I've been so, like, picky about when I eat food and how late because... I think picky is like a light way of saying it. Well, yeah, but I, because it's affected my sleep and stuff. Any parents out there? Apparently kids on a schedule that's really important. Like if he missed his afternoon nap. Oh man. I don't nap. <laughs> Just kidding, not the nap part. Going to bed every single time, same time. But you have to have routines if you wanna like... It's true. If you want to have some consistency. But you don't got to be all crazy about it. Yeah, you do sometimes. That's the only reason I improved, I think. Okay. Anyway, speaking of which, um, I jammed with the band for the first time in a while again tonight. I've jammed with them a couple times before, and afterwards just kind of felt like really foggy and blah. Tonight was a little better. I always feel a little bit foggy afterwards, like just kind of disconnected and weird, a little bit floaty and a headache, but it's better than last time, so that's good. That was a couple months ago. Good. Yeah. And you had to be alert the whole ride home too. Yeah, that's true. The roads were bad. The roads were pretty bad and Lou was, Lou was tense driving home. They're idiots. We, we made it. We made it. <laughs> I think we should wrap this vlog. What do you say, honey? Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up and finish off with a pizza I'm so at excited. 10.30. What? I might just stay up so eat a dirty. pizza, watch a movie. Whatever. Later, folks. We'll see you tomorrow. No, Monday. <laughs> we'll see you Monday. Yeah, see you Monday. Okay, bye. Bye.